good afternoon. So as Andrew mentioned, uh, CEPIC is heading a work package in this ARDI project, which is about still images, and that's what I'm going, I'm going to present. So this presentation uh, is a presentation I kind of recycle regularly. I mean, I, I did the first one uh, for the kickoff meeting of the ARDI a project in November, and since then it's been several times updated. I've also been showing it to members. And you see it in the presentation a little bit, and the formatting is not always completely perfect. So anyway, the first slide is just about us, and it's about showing that we are pretty much very much representative, at least of the European-based uh, picture um, industry, with a lot of members in several countries in all uh, fields of photography. And I would like to uh, add to this side that we are also a member of IPTC since uh, 2005. So now, where do we fit, where does the picture industry fit in this, um, in this um, LCC scheme? So I, these slides come from a presentation from Andrew, which is to be found on the LCC website. And it's just to show where the picture industry s sh um, stands. So uh, we represent two types of contents as source, still images and video. In the RDI project, we will concentrate on still images but I'm still mentioning that we're doing video because as CEPIC, so to say, we're not losing sight out of it either. And then we are, picture agencies are both sources, sources of content and of rights, and there are exchanges between the, the, this content and the user. So they have uh, two functions in this uh, schema. Okay, so now how do we approach the, the project? Uh, as I always say, this is the same thing comes from Andrew. There's a signature here. Of a <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we could have done it the easy way when we came in as a work package partner. Why? Because, okay, source is a photographer, a videographer, a picture agency, the exchange is a picture agency. We could have taken like Getty Images, would have been a source and, a, and an exchange in the project, and, you know, done, gone through this is a requirement, and that would be it. However, we were a little bit more ambitious, and this is a text <coughs> from our applications. Since this is done within the Link Content Coalition, which is larger than this ADI project, since we're doing this for this industry, we decided to tackle this issue of the orphan works. <laughs> um, so, challenges in image identification. Uh, as this is a high number of orphans, which means, as you see, I've used these quotation marks because um, in our, in our view, they are not really orphans, they are only images with seemingly no information, no attached metadata, but you, you must know that the image itself is an information. I mean, it's also a code, so it's an information. So you can't say that. That's why, so they, and in a way, there's no orphan works in images. They just look orphan. What's the solution? The solution is a visual recognition technology. There are several tools that are already in use on the market, and most of them are very efficient. However, even the best visual recognition technology does not solve or control the existence of duplicates because you must know a photographer may be, for example, represented by several agencies, or an agency will be represented by sub-agents, and so on and so forth. So how do you do a deal with this? Well, the solution would be to, de to develop a universal, uh, universal identifier number for still images. I would like to add here um, it was in an earlier presentation that it has to be authoritative because there are, I mean, images already have IDs in the database of picture agencies, but the, so the problem is not the existence of a number, it's the existence of an authoritative number. The problem we have is actually that too many numbers, so we just need one last number. So how do we deal with this? And this is what we want to do in this ARDI project, parallel to the other work. We change this schema. Now, source uh, remains the same, but the exchange, it becomes a, re a registry linked to exchanges, which means actually linked to picture agencies, right? And this registry will provide rights information, and that's about it. Now, from a u what is a user experience? So just taking one database, how does it work in reality? We will have the possibility, the user, I'm seeing this from a user experience now, the user will have the possibility to do searches using all these kind of criteria. So it can be authors, it can be this number, and it also can be with the image. The users doing this will be 
Well, almost any user in, in this list, you also have Arrow, for example, which has actually been de developed for uh, archives, CMOs, collective management organizations, <laughs> library publishers, etc. Where will they look? To start with, will we start with our members because we have to start somewhere, but it's extendable to, uh, to all kind of databases. So you need an image database coupled with a reverse image search engine. And all this source will be pouring into this database their thumbnail images with the associated metadata. And then using this reverse image uh, search, so here is an image of Van Gogh, the users will just drop the image and they will get this return. Now, we, we know we don't envision one huge database. It wouldn't, wor it wouldn't work in practice. It will be refused by our industry. So this is why we uh, decided to, to, to develop a scheme where it is extendable to as many databases as possible. It looks like this. From a user experience, it's very simple. They will just do a text request or a binary request, and they will get back. It will, the search will be done in two uh, different databases use, using different uh, visual uh, technology tools, and the user will just get one set uh, of results. Um, so doing this, we must accept that we have a number of challenges. Well, first, the picture industry is at this time, and still a very fragmented industry. Why? Okay, you have the commercial libraries. You also have a great number of photographers, professional, not prof professional. Uh, some use, uh, you know, use cameras, and now you have all these non-professional using handies. So, well, a mobile phone. Sorry. Um, positive points. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> positive points. I mean, all the components, all the technical components, already exist. And so what CEPIC will do is will will be to put them together. And the third thing is that in order to meet this fragmentation and these difficulties in our uh, industry, we decided to adopt what I call a grassroots approach. So what's a grassroots approach? Well, first, using existing systems. Then we will federate existing IDs. So um, this is what we call here UINN for this presentation. And then the, the CEPIC um, image registry will be a registry, it will not issue any licenses. I'm putting that here because I know that for our members, this is a very important point. We always have to say, no, 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 we will not do H issue in any licenses. We're just registering those numbers, that's it. Now, there, it doesn't mean there are a number of conditions of participation. Well, first, of course, you need to have content, which means pictures, thumbnails, but pictures, metadata in general terms, and then the right information. Uh, to use uh, the use of visual recognition software is a condition. And uh, it is necessary to propose both binary and text search. So the partners in this project are the following. So the will be, we are the, the partners head, and then we have two tandems, I call them tandem, I mean in French it's tandem, tandems, um, with, which are the two first here on this list. The first part of the tandem provides, will provide the visual technology uh, search engine, and the second will be the source of images. So Album uh, IIS, Album is actually also an image agency, but uh, in this case, they will provide the technology. And then AGE uh, THP in Spain, and uh, PixCout uh, and Getty Images. So, I mean, with this tool, we have access already to a huge number of images. I mean, Getty is a world uh, picture agency leader, and THP, as you see, I put a couple of uh, some figures is here. You have 300, 370 agencies and 82,000 photographers. So, you know, it's a great, it's a huge database. And then the third partner uh, will be the Plus Rights Registry, which I made a presentation and will speak afterwards. Uh, for because due to the um, essentially at the moment for to the right uh, metadata. So how does it work now with these two partners? So as you see, you have database one, which is set up by album. We'll call it the CEPIC uh, database because uh, it will be at the end of become a CEPIC asset. And the second is the existing. I have to insist here with the Pixcart. Uh, image IRC uh, database. It's already an existing system. I think it's very important to, to say that here. Okay. <laughs> 
And now this is a uh, last the slide I added yesterday. So it's a very new, new very new slide. There are developments almost uh, every week at the moment. Uh, the, this, this slide shows a little bit more how the system is going to work. Now, um, here at the bottom, you find the two databases I was mentioning. Um, at the far left, you have uh, the users coming in. And um, so now the, the questions that we, um, we don't, we're not quite really sure at the moment how to, how to deal with is where we plus will appear in this, in this schema. I'm sorry, this slide may change. It is in discussion at the moment. It may appear at two places. Uh, plus could become an exchange in this, uh, in this schema, or they could um, provide, become some kind of um, rights, uh, rights builder as an additional layer here before the communication protocol. But I mean, you know, if I put this question mark here because we want to study that as an option at the moment. We need to look in all, in all existing possibilities. It's just, um, but we can't just, uh, um, I can't not say more at the, at the moment. So that's how it, it will look. So now the dev deliverables for the, and the other requirements. Um, some of them, uh, Makes sense. So specify and implement the registry, specify the scope of right data services, the green mapping, design and build the user inter interface, ingest process, etc. And I added one here, which I think is very important in this project, which has nothing to do with technology, is governance. Because of course, if you build such a huge project with so many partners, some of them are very important. You need to. It needs to be based on sound, on sound governing principles, and this is um, an additional requirement that we was brought up in the last couple of months where we say we will have a working group just working on this. Um, as far as EPIC is concerned, it's quite easy because we already a trade association with clear structures, but we're bringing in Getty Images as a huge uh, uh, picture agency in there and then the press registry. And that's it. <laughs>